doesn't matter how painful it is. You don't lie to someone you love. You might be right. But can any of us really know what we would do in his situation? He's been a devoted father for 15 years. I know he loves Rachel more than anything. I'm surprised you're defending him after what he did at the Overlook. It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. The ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. The ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. Even you, Willie, 
couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. On stage, I think Rachel said, I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. May you always be safe. <laughs> sure. But from who? Rachel might not survive her family, but <laughs> at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Uh, alone. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. We were so close to making our break last night. Now... I don't know. This light needs more... light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Hey, check it out.
It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Take it, even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why, never even thought about it. Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. You should take it back. No. There's nowhere else I'd rather keep it than right here. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll... Call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her... How will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. 
But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us. Right? Right. I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touché. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's... the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about stories told by idiots, full of sound and fury, signifying fuck all? 
Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Surprise, motherfucker! Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait, David? That motherfucker. Whatever, I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me, and he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. Come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll meet in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Is mom playing music? Towel? Where the hell is mine? 
Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just... <sighs> Score. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> You are one class act, David Madsen. Huh. Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. <laughs> 